Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. So last episode we uh, expanded our territory into creek lands a little bit, but now we have to worry about encroaching on the Aztecs. So we're gonna make sure, let's let's see, we have free diplomats. Uh, oh, we're already improving relations with the Aztecs. So uh, something else I want to do, well, first, first off, let's do this. Let's split this army in half. Let's take half of these guys and go over here and take care of that. Because we do have rebel problems. Let's merge those navies together so they can act as one. We're not at war right now, so it's easy to have them go out, protect trade, and let's see. Where's going to be the best place? If we we can work some trade note in the Caribbean, or Caribbean is how you, uh, you, you might pronounce it that way, uh, we could send it up. So let's see. Gulf of St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence? Lawrence? Or it's early in the morning. Man. Let's see. Chesapeake Bay. Not going to do much. Not going to do much. But it'll do a lot in the Caribbean. Caribbean. Caribbean? I don't know which one's actually correct. I've heard it said both ways. They're, they're, maybe it's one of those things where they're both. it's both correct. Or are we chugging a little bit? What's going on here? It's chugging a little bit. Damn, I hate that. Oh, well, just gonna have to deal with it. Somebody said it really, really well in the comment section. You four trolls, everybody. It really, really does. Now, uh, do we have we have two colleagues going. Um, Adirondack. And... Leap. This one right here. Now, the Ottawa. Someone suggested, and I think it might be a good idea, that it might be a good idea to try to absorb them peacefully. So let's see, we have an alliance. Let's offer vassalization. Uh, to offer vassalization, you have a military alliance, have a relations of 190, and they must be at peace. So we just need to get the relations up a little bit. So let's just, oh, we're already improving it there too. And what, well, I mean, we could always send them a little cash. That would do it. So oh, we could just wait. I mean, rebels are something we're going to have to... I mean, I, I, we definitely had problems with rebels. Kind of problematic for me. Not the end of the world, but... That was an interesting war. That was definitely an interesting war. It was kind of enjoyable, too. It was pretty fun. And uh, the, the way I like to... prosecute my wars is I basically like to grab as much land as I can... So that I'm basically, basically just on the verge of destabilizing myself. You know, just really max out what I can get in a war. And then take a long time to recoup from it. Susquehannock Separatists might be problematic. Where are they coming from? Manahoke and Potomac. That's those, this one. Where's the Potomac? Right here. Um, no, we're actually, because they're nothing. Potawan, ooh, that I will accept. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 oh my god, that just scared the shit out of me for a second. Holy hell, oh my god. I thought, I thought I, I clicked without reading. Oh my god, I just scared the absolute shit out of myself. For a second there, I thought that was telling me that I just made myself a march of the Potawatomi. I was like, what did I just do? Reload. Holy shit. Oh god. Uh, my merchants are being harassed. Gaining cost a spell against the fox. All right, let's get our opinions up there. That's good. So these guys our march of these guys. And I now have an alliance with them, so why don't we relations, improve relations. I don't necessarily want to fight them, so I don't think there's a really a reason to not do that. But, you know, an alliance between the sh me, the Fox, and the Shawnee might be able to do something to check Aztec aggression. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so we need a mission, create a proper fleet, colonize, whatever the hell that is, and our manpower needs to recover. We're going to take that one because that's something we're going to do anyway. And I believe we need a lot. Yeah. So what we could do here. Well, is this one coring? Yeah, that one's coring. 
So that should help out. Oh, there we go. Chesapeake is now part of our patrimony. And so is Shenandoah. So let's go to Potomac. Oh, no, that looks like it took care of that by itself. So are we getting unrest from anywhere other than here? Nope, just that one. And what about Cherokee? We're getting... Nope, no, it's gone now. So we're good. I mean, if we want, we can stack our units here to try to get that. I don't know how much... I think there's a limit on how much uh, units in a province will help unrest. Troops. I see friendly troops minus... I think minus five is that limit. Did I put... I put very... Yeah, I put small amounts of artillery in here. Not a ton, just small amounts. I know a lot of people have been giving me advice on what I can do to help my that little lag issue and I don't think there's anything I could do. I know a lot of people have been saying things like make sure you're not doing anything with your internet, which that doesn't have anything to do with the actual game performance. Make sure you're not running anything in the background, things like that. Again, uh, my computer's powerful enough to run this game perfectly fine, and it's an intermittent problem, so there's nothing. It's nothing to do with my PC. There's something in the game that bloats the processes. And it's something to do with, and I'm almost pugged because two times now, it's happened when I was colonizing, and then it went away when I stopped colonizing. But uh, for the sake of gameplay, you know, I can't not colonize because that's a big part of my gameplay right now not colonizing and leaving all that land free up there when I already dumped so many uh, Diplo points into getting those ideas, that would be a disaster. All right, so we're at a max here. It's not high. Wants your provinces and a heretic. So it's not, uh, I guess that's it. That's all we can do, really. Ottawa, 171. I don't think we can get, I don't know if it'll go any higher than that. Nope. So we're going to need to... Let's see, we need to get it up to 190. And improve our relations by 22. Yeah, that would do it. Uh, and it's... Is it influence relations? Influence? Offer vessel. May 19th. So i got to wait a month. That's fine. We'll wait a month. Oh, uh, let's check this out as well. Now we have trade power down here, right? I do. We need to place a merchant. And right now we are... Oh, well, I don't need to collect it in Chesapeake because that only gives you a small boost. So what we could do is... Recall that merchant. So I don't think that's gonna. I, you automatically are collecting your trade, your home node. You automatically do that. So now that we, then what we could do is go transfer trade power. Come on, like that, and that'll help knock it up towards Chesapeake Bay. People don't want to be conscripted. National Control Function is a well-oiled machine. The moment we are encountering some resistance and recruitment. So, I'm sure we can slow down recruitment in the short term. Or, lose... Oh, yeah. I'm not going to take a stability hit right now. Grain, we have shooting over the close down and around are producing grain. Okay. So, now we are pushing it up this way. Good. All right. Good. Now, we could do some building. We could really do some building if we wanted to because we have the funds. Um, so let's see, tax modifier, is that going to be a, a big boost in any of our regions right now? I don't think so, but we can look. I'm seeing a decent, some decent ones over there. There. But it's only 0.1. Um, production efficiency. I mean, more grain. Local unrest, I don't think that's, uh, local trade power, that could be... I think we already got all the ones we needed, though. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So, shipyards. We have two now. Don't need to do that. We can do some barrackses if there's any good spots left. Which I don't see. Hmm. 
Or we can build a castle somewhere. I mean, I'd love to do more construction, but I don't really think it's terribly necessary. I mean, we could always do more forts and stuff like that to defend our land. I mean, this one's kind of pointless now, so what we could do is... Well, no, that's all allies now. We could border up down here. We could, you know, build, like, one here and one there. One there would be good. And one, you know, two forts right there. They'd be That'd be a lot of money, though. I don't know. Maybe I should just save it up. I mean, if we want to, we could do a courthouse. Hmm. Like, I got all this money now. What I could do is uh, build up my fleet or my army. I got the money. So, what we could do... Uh, more light ships. 600 days, really? Man, I wish we had... Now, now right now, I, I, I wish we had... You know what? We could do that. Um, buildings. Docks. No. Shipyards. Do shipyards like here. I, I, I wish we had more shipyards so we could build ships quicker. We, let's do that. And then we could start in Manhattan. Well, we'll yeah, let's start in Manhattan. Let's just put like, queue up like four. There we go. And let's see, what's our force limit right now? Let's do that. Uh, force limit is 27. And let's see, what do we got here? We got 14, 5, and 2. So let's... Let's bring in some more cannons. Wait, 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 wait. Did I do mercenaries? I must have done mercenaries. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I was like, that seemed like it was... One, two, three. And we've got five. I'd like to bring that up to eight. Wait, well, wait, we could get, bring it up to 27. We have 21. That leaves six. We can do three more. Unless I counted wrong. That should bring us right up to our force limit. Now this is the one... ...that's got a lot of development, yeah. And a lot of buildings. Indeed. Now part of our patrimony, good, back. Alright, now we are trading in... ...what right now? I don't remember. Tobacco. We control 38.8% of the tobacco trade right now. Man, is there is there a way? Man, if there was a way, that'd be amazing. If there was a way to show you... Is that a whale? That is a whale right there in the Bay of Fundy. I wish there was a way that I could see... What are you guys doing over here? Are you supposed to be in the Caribbean? Alright. Um, I wish there was a way to see exactly where I stood. Whoa. I guess I wasn't paying attention to that. And that's not a big deal, actually. I mean, they're all dead. And now, there's no unrest. Recent uprising minus 20, yeah. I wish there was a way you could see, you know, how close you were towards to your next... You know, the next one, you can look at all the trade goods and say, Oh, I'm at 9.8%, I can really focus in on this one. Maybe there is in the... Maybe, I would imagine if there was... It'd be in the ledger. Why don't we look real quick? Not history. Ledger. Trade. Trade goods. And we got prices. That's it. We got prices. Hmm. Let's go back. So, well, how do you get back to the beginning? All right. No. I don't see it in there. Good locations. Now what is this what is this production? Is that like their their boost to production? They're making a lot of fur? Strategic goods, no, not there. Ah, market share. Okay. 
So right now, we control 16% of fur. It, what is it? I thought it needed to be above, it needs to be above 20%, I think. So, oh, yearly prestige. So if we get more fur, if we increase our fur production or control 4% more fur. Oh, and uh, how do you do that? Like, so if I wanted to do that, uh, increase production on any, we could, we could try doing it simple like that, trade good map mode. Anywhere that produces fur, you could try that. Production. Oh, now I can't see. I can't see which ones do which. Fuck. Come on, let me overlay the map modes, really? So, like, this line right up here. Oh, we already have it there. There, and there. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm gonna see if this is going, I'm gonna build a couple of these and see if it's gonna get me any closer to that prestige. I really wish I could just overlay these map modes. that one. It was... I know it was these ones, so we'll just go... Alright, let's let's uh, let's stop there. I mean, we just blew through a lot of money. I don't want to blow through all of it. Really, I, I can't believe we're, we're, you know, how long these games have been in development and how good they've gotten, you know, Paradox has gotten at creating these games and whatnot. And we still don't... We st we still, still cannot overlay map modes or combine map modes. Nice. Got a pretty good, pretty good income. Definitely want those. I want, definitely think I should build a lot more light ships. Try to really go heavy on trade. It looks like we got too many men here now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, uh, let's take you off and just move you guys here. There we go. And what we need, I think the next military tech is going to increase my, my supply limit by 50%. International guild contacts. All right, so, lose a diplomat for a while, or, come on, unfreeze, there you go. Spy offense, national spy defense. That's, that's until, for three years, that's fine. Not a big deal. I love that my economy is on track. Most of, almost all my overextensions coming from this one right there, so we're definitely going to have to wait a while. And what are we at? Five? And when is our next election? Ooh. Ooh, offensive ideas. Lame leader. I forgot we went into it. Let's take a look here. Hmm. Oh, we are way ahead. So we need we're four years ahead, so we can we can take these ideas safely. Easy. There we go. Oh! Manpower recovery speed plus 20%. I didn't even realize I was get, about to get that one. Land leader shock. So all my land leaders have more shock now. This one doesn't do much for me. This one's gonna be great. Prestige from battles, great. I only have a little bit of prestige on my own now, which is good. So those workshops, I'm hoping what's going to happen is when I build those workshops, it's going to increase my market share of furs. Also, you know, I mean, but, you know, the problem is, is that, let's see, trade good map mode, furs are produced everywhere. Especially over here. So let's see where the trade's going. So, every, pretty, uh, let's see. A lot of it in Ohio is getting, you know, that one, those ones are getting pushed towards me. Still have a lot of power in Ohio. Mississippi River Basin. Uh, it looks like most of it's getting pushed into Ohio and that's getting put. There's, so there's not. Trade wise, I don't think there's much more I could do. So I have to try to. An election. Here we go. Um, no, we're going to go there. That'll give us a chance to get our tradition a little bit higher and also more end points.
How are our colonies doing? Not bad. I mean, I'd really love to get that prestige bonus. That would be great. We already built the marketplace, and there should be marketplace there as well. Good. I'm pretty garbage at the trade game, but I think we're getting better. Hmm. Although not like well, let's see. Current trade power forty six thirty. So that's well. Not much of it's getting pushed up this way, but everything in the Gulf of Saint Lawrence, I'm not really controlling because it's getting pushed out. Are we collecting? Well, no, we're collecting there. That's good. Uh, oh, only a little bit's getting pushed out. What was I thinking? We're fine. All right, we got that. We got that covered. And I think as we explore up here, it's going to be a lot of fur as well. So maybe we're going to be able to snatch that that one extra yearly prestige. That's going to be great for us. That's going to be huge. Oh, and Ottawa. We forgot about them. They will not accept. Iroquois is a merchant republic. Government rank, Iroquois economy. Okay, so it's close. Friendly attitude, diplomatic relation, reputation, trust, foreign trade competition. Yeah, let's take the mercantilism. So economic base compared to Ottawa, which means we would need to to get increase our economic base. We need to dump into admin power, right? Which I don't want to do. Uh, development-wise, trade goods produced. So I could do that. I could do development. That could help. So we could try to economically develop some of these areas. That would do the trick. I mean, preferably do it uh, do it on the ones on the coast. Are we, or are we trying to save up? We're really behind on tech here, so we should probably try to save it up. Oh, our great leader died. Shame. Shame! Alright, so where can we... There we go, we have a... We can, we can hang out here together. That's unfortunate. We lost our great leader, but at least he he led us to victory over the Cherokee, which was exactly what I was hoping he would do. Sad day. Cherokee hate our guts. Shawnee, let's make sure we're improving relations here. I'm a little bummed that we... We, we, I, we, we were close. We were really close. Hmm... So they want those two provinces, but they're not their cores, right? Nope. They want them, but they're not cores, so screw you. Hmm. So maybe if I can increase my trade power in these nodes, maybe? That might do it. Did moving my capital to Manhattan do anything good for me? vulnerable position. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything productive for me. It's going to cost 200 points. That would, it would actually do anything. I don't know. So there's no pirates here. No pirates there. I don't think there's any pirates I need to worry about. Let's check that ledger again. 19%. It's very... 19.4%. Very close. Very, very close. So why don't we try the development thing? That might do the trick. Just a little bit. Like, let's do... Let's do these two right here. Because that's going to... Uh, local goods produced. Point two. So let's let, like, one month tick by. And let's check it now. 
I guess, um, I mean, it's, yeah, let's, let, let's keep it up. I really want that. That should do the trick right there. Let's let another month. Yes, I got it. Nice, trading in first. So now we control 20.2% of the fur trade in the world. Nice. Now that's got to give us bonus yearly prestige. Sweet. From religious sacrifices, point one. Rites of passage, point five. Trading in fur, point... Or not, point one. One and point five and one. A truce with the fox have ended. Truce with the Pawnee have ended. That's fine. I can't believe we actually got that. that. That's a level of, like, strategic gameplay I was kind of unaware of for the longest time. Not very good at. Well, that Aztec army of 22 isn't as scary now as it used to be, but I'm assuming there's more to them somewhere else. We're almost done with another colony, which is great. So these guys, let's uh, protect trade. That's not going to do much. It's mostly down here in the Caribbean. That'll really increase our trade power down there. Hopefully we can push more. Yeah, we're pushing more up now. So, going to tell you specifically what kinds of goods are in this trade node. Like, are being moved through it. Hmm, not really. Oh well. Increased our trade power up here, though. Nice. Oh, and did our colony... Colony here, it's almost done. Just about. When diplomatic insults against Ottawa, they have insulted us. Really? Oh, come on, you cocks. We're friends. Well, except for that... Time we declared war on you. Can we do we have enough hair now? Almost. Let's crank it up. We need 253. We're close. Although cranking it up doesn't seem to have actually made the game gone quicker. Go quicker. Gone quicker. Why can't I talk early in the morning? Wording is hard. All right, make core. There we go. All right, nice. So, what do we get? Let's let's take. Well, I guess we could just start filling all this land in, or we could start. This is this is the same trade node, right? Yeah, we could start moving, like cutting up off other people, or we could start filling this area in and moving up this way. I think filling in. Let's uh, let's make it a little detachment. Send them up there. There we go. All right, and with that, we're going to end this episode right here. So if you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.